ordinarily here I would say good morning, but it's actually 7.30 in the evening. Behind me is Max Patch, just covered in wildflowers. We just walked part of the AT up to the top, had a little bit of dinner up there, here on our first day of the Spears and Hot Springs. Enjoy this little montage of photographs that we took up on the top and on our hike around. Well, good morning. It's been a while since I've filmed one of these and see my hair is, looks quite a bit different. We are in the Smoky Mountains for a bit of family vacation. We are staying here at the Mountain Fiesta, which is a bed and breakfast type place, although we're just using it as a place to lay our heads. We're taking care of our own food, but it's right here on the road between Asheville, which is that way, and Hot Springs, which is that way, which is where we'll be going later this week. <laughs> so, let me give you a quick tour of the place where we're staying, and uh, then we'll get on with the rest of our day. We got here yesterday, unpacked, and then we drove up to Max Patch and had our dinner up on top of the mountain. And now we're getting ready to head out for our day. That was a nightmare. And I on the floor. DVD cabinet. There's a projector and screen, a couple of nice big hammocks. There's a Benny got some air mattresses set up in here, some cots and beds. There's a bar over here. It's actually still set up for the wedding that had taken place in here. So they've got their string lights and the gauzy stuff. Good morning, Bets. Are you ready for our adventure today? But I'm not. You're not? Coming down the stairs from that little covered portico area is this really nice little outdoor event space. They've got an outdoor pizza oven, a little bar out here, bathrooms with showers and the whole nine. Oh, I wish I'd gotten that on video just just a second ago. The sun came over the hill and lit up that little cove up there. Looks 
like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Made our way into Bryson City because this is the home of the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad. And here is number 1702. The GSMRs consolidated. They don't run her during the week, only on the weekends. Is it in the 611? It is not bigger than the 611, buddy.
This is our view at lunch. Well, that was cool. Never been to the Nanahale Outdoor Center. What'd you think, Beth? They're pretty neat. Uh, yeah. Now we got us coin purses. Yep. Got our obligatory visitors patch, so it's official. So now we're headed back to the train. We were on the last car on the way west. Now we're on the first car on the way back. So we have to walk the entire length of the train to get back up to the front. Is this our car? Nope, we have one more to go. The other car huh? Going all the way on the end. There they are! Hi! Since we're in Bryson City, there's no point in not coming to the Smoky Mountains. So this that we're walking is the road to nowhere. And if I recall correctly, when the park was built and Fontana Dam was impounded, the route for the ancestors of folks who used to live in the park before it was a park, were told they would have access to a cemetery back there. And for some reason or another, the road didn't get finished. Uh, thus the name Road to Nowhere. And the Road to Nowhere ends right through there. We're still not halfway. Yeah. I, for some reason, I thought there was a curve in it, so you couldn't see either end. But I must be thinking of... I'm obviously thinking of something else. Yep, this is the actual end of the road. Well, that's a hiking trail over there. Grandma will remember that trail. Her knees will remember it for sure. Yep, and the trail goes on that way out to Fontana Lake out there. What you doing, BB? BB, you want to sing this end of the road song? You sing it? Yeah, like this. Watch. The end of the road. Oh, I can't let go. You remember any more words? No. Mm. Dillsboro is that way, Dillsboro, North Carolina. And right down this hill, if you can see there, I'll switch the camera around. Right down the hill there is an old locomotive that's painted an Illinois Southern 
which is a fictional railroad as far as I can recall. Yeah, there's two locomotives down there. Painted an Illinois Southern livery. Yeah, Illinois Southern right there. Down there is the right of way of the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad, again, which is the one we just rode in the Dillsboro maintenance area. But down there along the Tuckasegee River on their right of way, the fugitives railroad accident scene was filmed. And those two locomotives that have derailed and have crashed on the side of the road were part of the scene, as well as this down here. And again, I'll flip the camera around and zoom in so we can get a really good look at it. Right down there is the bus. It says Illinois Department of Corrections on it. And that's the bus that Kimball escaped from. Pretty cool. Can't get down there because that's, like I said, it's all Great Smoky Mountains Railroad right of way. I've been wanting to see that for a long time. And I'm glad we finally got a chance to go check it out. Very cool. So that was a pretty cool day. So while I'm whipping up some dinner here, let's throw it over to Bridget and see what she and the kids are doing right now. Little mud never hurt anybody. Careful. <laughs> I'm not you want me to hold your hand? No. I got it. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. I'm not going out into the middle. Why aren't I? Whoa, careful. You alright? Careful because it gets slipped. Don't. Don't hold on to each other. You're okay, you're okay. to find a good background that looks like I'm still in the mountains <laughs> since I'm editing this after we got back that's it for our first couple of days couple of busy first days here in the mountains thank you for watching remember you can find adventure anywhere so get outside and find an adventure of your own and if you want to keep up with our adventures make sure you hit that subscribe button thanks we'll see you next time